What is up everybody? This is Double Right. I'm back here with a new video of Apex still continuing this wave line. Obviously this must be either season or yeah, series 1.5 or series 2. One of them, I don't know which one, but this is of the new guy that came out, Revenant. Uh, this guy's really cool. He's in a deadly assassin in the game. Uh, came back in season 4? Yeah, I guess maybe. He's number four of the series, I guess. I don't know. But anywho, we got the bio back here. Pause that if you want to take a peek. He's at that. Comes with 25 points of articulation. And, of course, we've got the other two. We have Wraith, Voidwalker, and then we have Octane, and the high and energetic stuntman, the Daredevil. Um, for the Revenant, we do have some accessories he comes with he comes with an interchangeable hand his his like hand knife that he uses to kill you know people because he hates hammer robotics because he's a robot and they made him into a weapon that he didn't want to be anymore because he's no longer human and he comes with his death totem and he comes with the long bow so that's really cool um, the sculpt on that thing looks pretty darn cool, so I'm excited to open this guy up. Well, without further ado, let's crack this thing open. And here he is out of the package, Revenant from Apex Legend, the deadly robotic assassin. This thing is really cool, and I love the accessories he comes with, especially that interchangeable hand. That is his dagger hand. Really cool. Um... Paint ups on this bad boy are pretty darn cool. I love the head. The head always gets me, man. This that robotic skull look, and I love the eyes. That's really cool. Um, pretty basic paint app color, nothing really too crazy. Wish they kind of like, I don't know, metallic him a little bit because he's a robot. You know, like robots are meant to be a little bit shiny, a little bit cool. Um, all in all, I do like this guy. Of course, he does come with the peg on the back for holstering the weapons that's what i'm assuming that's what that's for um a lot of red white to make it highlight purple and it does have the hammond robotic hand on there so that's really cool they even got that to the t like that's so small i'm actually pretty darn they got that in there just like the logo for hammond robotic is oh, we got a little bit of the h chipped off there but you know, not too bad. Everything else looks... I mean, this thing is pretty darn accurate to Revenant himself. So, I really enjoy that. And unlike Pathfinder, Revenant can stand on his own. So, we do not need that darn display thing. Woohoo! Um, so, yeah, pretty darn good sculpting. This is probably my favorite one so far from Jax that they've done for the Apex series. That we got going on here. So maybe they just did a little test run. little beta test run for the first wave. And now they're like, hey, let's do it. Full throttle. Let's get this thing going. And they've outdone themselves for Revenant. Um, really darn good sculpting here. I just can't, I can't stop admiring all the sculpt they put in this thing. And of course this thing comes with 25 points of articulation. So let's get down to it. Alright, the head can look up a tiny bit not too far and limited on the neck going back and forth but unlike the other two i reviewed earlier this left hand can go 360 all the way yeah look at that both of them both of them the right arm is no longer dominant both are equal in dominancy and he does have a bicep swivel what holla at your boy only a single uh jointed elbow joint there so nothing too crazy there of course the wrist can go 360 and he can with ease go up and down look at that so yeah that's awesome proud of this one so far they've outdone themselves he can go an 80 degrees he can't really because of the spine there the spine's kind of of course an actual looks like an actual spine where they curved it a little bit so it can't really go that far and of course some of the uh his uh ammo 
packages right here kind of hit the little little spikes he has on this uh abdomen there so there's that um legs let's look at the legs they can go all the way back see nothing stopping that and this much forward so unlike the path run, he can't go that far forward but he can go pretty darn far back um he does have a single jointed knee and can just bend perfect 45 and that's about it uh, of course the foot can go 360 and up and down it looks like it maybe maybe not yep yeah, there it goes up and down perfect and then, of course, he has the toe movement. It's kind of awkward to have, but hey, there's that. All right, let's get him back in display stand mode. Please don't fall. Revenant. His legs do not go out whatsoever, so that's that's a bummer on that one. Kind of wish it did, though. But anywho, there's Revenant right there. He's standing on his own. And he does come with three accessories. He does come with his death totem. That's really cool. Really darn sculpted. It's pretty, pretty plastic or pretty rubbery. So, I mean, you can you can honestly bend it a little bit. See that? There it goes right there. Um, enjoy the sculpt. Just kind of a uh, little bit of red, uh, flat gold, and some gray. Uh, yeah, got a, got a little bit of bleeding going on here, here and there throughout the whole thing. But, you know, not disappointing because it's just an accessory. I don't know how I'd feel if it didn't come with a death totem. Like, now that I see it, I'm like, it does complete him as the legend. And he does come with the long bow. So, uh, a darker green and just a flat black. So, you really can't tell the detail too much in there. Kind of like you did with the... Uh, the Havoc or the uh, the uh, R three hundred one, um, but yeah, there's that, and that's just the basic loadout of the longbow. It does not come with any optics or anything. Kind of sad there, and he does come with his knife, dagger, hand, whatever you want to call it, from Hammer and Robotics, where he stabs. Oh, what is his name? Forge. Yeah, killed him before even season four happened. But there's that. That's really cool there. Let's see. Can we put it on him with ease? Let's pop this bad boy out. Oh, 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 will it work? Usually sometimes when I do this on the video, it doesn't work. But will it work here for me today? Come on. Oh, and it does. There it is. Boom. Oh, and there goes the death totem. But there's his other hand there. Ain't that just cool? I dig that a lot. That's really cool. So maybe we'll have him in an action pose with the hand, with the dagger there going out and stabbing through somebody. That's really cool, guys. Um, with that being said, I really enjoy this guy. He's a lot better than the Pathfinder and a little bit better than the Wraith that I reviewed this week. Um, of course, I'm limited on getting these things because they're not hot commodity right now. So limited quality here where I live. But guys, without further ado, this has been Double Rhino. I will catch you all later. Peace.